Well, hello YouTube. Here we are with a little bit of a unboxing video. Of course, this is one of those unboxing videos that have been, uh, well, a few years in the works. I bought this product in the summer of 2009, if my memory serves me correct. Well, for those of you that are familiar with this product, well, um, you'll know what it is. For those of us that aren't, well, it's a Pace Edwards roll top box cover. Now basically you see there that's the uh, part number or model number if you want to say of this here box cover. It's the uh, TR2006. So of course the TR006 you know fits the Colorado of course the Canyon. It fits a Dakota. It'll fit the Dakota quad cab. It'll fit the Isuzu pup and regular and king cab in that one. Uh, it'll fit the Isuzu i280EX and the uh, Toyota Tacoma. Of course, you know, being this is an older product now, <laughs> um, some of those uh, sizes might have changed for the newer models of trucks. And of course, uh, you know, the Colorado and Canyon now have been discontinued and they're bringing out a brand new body style. So uh, that's probably not going to fit on the new ones now either. And, and of course, for the Colorado and Canyons with a six foot box, um, you need these rails here, which are TR5046. And of course, for the Dakota and the Tundra, you know, they'd require different rails altogether. If I remember correctly, the Isuzu I280 is identical to the Canyon in Colorado, just with a little bit different, um, you know, trim and stuff like that. But pretty much, guys, as you see here, the box is fully intact. Pretty much it's never been opened, never been looked at, or nothing right from, well, the uh, 2009 there on. It basically spent its life in the corner of the garage here, and then, uh, you know, was moved out to the shed a few years ago, and then forgot about. Um, it's always been there in the back of my mind to uh, either sell it or use it, but when I tried to sell it, um, nobody wanted it, and I didn't want to use it because I had a topper for the truck. And I'm not really a box cover person, I'm more of a topper person. But uh, this here setup cost me like $1,500 plus shipping to get it here. Of course, uh, all the way up here in Canada versus, well, the States, right? So, of course, um, you know, now that I got it here, uh, now that I've decided to uh, use it, we're going to film ourselves a bit of an unboxing video. And then part two of this video series will be a installation video on a 2009 GMC Canyon. Of course, um, the installation on the Canyon will kind of be the same installation as you do on your Tacoma or even your, you know, F-150. Essentially, it's going to be the same installation no matter what vehicle you have because really it's just a uh, put together and drop in and tighten down system. So pretty much guys, I'm going to throw you on the old tripod here, uh, rip open this box. Hopefully there's no factory flaws or damage to it because, well, it's way past the time for claiming. And away we go. So of course guys, here we are, the long-awaited unboxing, if you want to say, of the uh, Pace Edwards Jackrabbit model box cover. Well, first impressions of, uh, well, this here product is it looks like it's very well packaged. I suppose, you know, when it gets shipped out, um, you know, who knows where it's going to get sent to. So, of course, you know, it might not be just going, you know, around the states. It could be going, uh, uh, I want to say, you know, across the world. So, of course, they got the wonderful, well, smart film uh, packaging going on here. And then, of course, there's a chunk of what uh, lo looks like to be 7 8 uh, OSB in the ends, I guess, it's to uh, protect it from being dropped or so. Of course, uh, there's a disclaimer here. Attention, read this first. If you have any missing or broken parts or need assembly assistance, basically call their toll-free uh, number there. And, uh, of course, down in the bottom corner, there is their website for checking out their product. So of course we'll tear down the box uh, one more time to get out uh, the canister. 
Now I have been told the only difference between a uh, Jackrabbit model box cover for the, uh, well, four-door Colorado or Canyon versus the Super Cab or regular Cab Colorado and Canyon is of course the fuel filler for the uh, Super Cab for the uh, four-door Colorado or Canyon interferes with the box cover. So I'm going to assume that they have to uh, notch out the box cover to accommodate the fuel filler. There could possibly be um, a notch in the canister or possibly maybe it sits up um, you know two or three more inches higher to well get over top of the you know the fuel filler right. So pretty much guys I'm thinking this is the hardware box here. Um, a part number on this one is a TR1114-1. Of course that should house all the wonderful clamps and uh, things like that. And of course more uh, packing and all that good stuff. And this here is your top piece that event essentially goes on top of the canister to make her all, you know, pretty pretty. Somewhere around here should be your wonderful uh, destruction books uh, to tell you, you know, exactly how to do it and what to do and uh, where to go, right? So upon further um, looking here, we find ourselves our instruction book. Um, you know, along with the Velcro strips, a couple of uh, hardware bolts. Um, these are your drain tubes, of course, to drain the water out from the canister out to the bottom of your box, out onto the ground. Uh, there's a couple of keys in here, which are definitely a plus. It's a whole point of buying one of these things, is to have lockable uh, items for kind of a semi-security, right? So guys, pretty much going to lift the canister here off the cardboard and, uh, well, pretty much start our assembly process. Okay guys, so here we go. Got her all pretty much laid out on the floor here. Of course, we got the rails, of course, all uh, unboxed, uh, laid out there as well. Um, pretty much first look at the canister is, well, pretty much the outer canister is a plastic um, kind of feel to it. So, you know, that's, I guess, I guess okay. You know, it'd be nice if it was aluminum or um, some type of metal, but at the same time, you know, um, it's not really going to be seen much by the UV rays or nothing. It's going to be covered, but, you know, it's kind of the way she is. Of course, over here we have ourselves our hardware pack, you know, with our clamps, our shims, our bolts, and all that good stuff. Uh, like I said earlier, with our drain tubes and our keys, um, I'd recommend um, either watching uh, videos online or uh, reading the instructions or a little bit of both. Um, sometimes the instructions cover more than the videos and vice versa, right? So pretty much guys, this has been a unboxing and a little bit of a first look at a Pace, Pace Edwards Jackrabbit model TR2006. And of course watch out for part 2 of this here video where we will be installing it on a vehicle. Uh, seeing how the install goes and pretty much seeing how easy the install is for, well, your average person. As always, thanks for watching Maxwell's World. Comment, subscribe, and enjoy.